Hello, this is Chris Minnick with Webucator. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use class autoloaders in WordPress. This video was inspired by a blog post by Justin Sternberg, which is available at the URL shown here. Many people are hesitant to use autoloaders in WordPress. This video will clear up some of the misinformation and misunderstandings about autoloaders so that you can start taking advantage of them. One common file load pattern is the include all the things pattern, which looks like this. You could argue that it gets the job done, but it certainly isn't optimized. It just loads everything indiscriminately. A similar pattern is to use something like glob to include all the files in a directory. While this reduces the amount of repetition in the code, it's not much better in terms of optimization. If you recognize the downsides of the include all the things pattern, you might opt to only include your files as you need them, which can look like this. In this example, you're only loading the files when you need to get an object, but if you want to use my table stuff anywhere outside of the my main stuff class, you'll need to use require once, which clutters up your code. The answer is to use the SPL auto load register function. What it allows you to do is to set a callback that will listen in whenever you call a class that isn't yet included. This allows you to include your file just in time and only include it if the class gets called. This is super handy, but there are some caveats to keep in mind when creating your callback. The first thing is that you'll need to make sure your classes each belong to their own files. The reason for this is so the autoloader can include only that file when it is needed. A good standard practice is to have an includes folder in your plugin and put your class files in there. Once you have a standard location for class files, you can pick a standard file naming practice. To make it easy, you can give your files the exact same name as your class. Since WordPress still supports PHP 5.2, you can use class prefixes as a pseudo namespacing technique. In his blog post, Justin uses the word my as a prefix for class names. Now that you've determined the file structure, you have the basic rules the autoloader should follow. These are, the class must not already be loaded or exist. This rule is auto-followed by the autoloader. It only fires for undefined classes. The class we want to load must start with the my prefix. The class file must be located in the includes folder. The class file will have the same name as the class except the prefix will be removed. It will be lowercased and the underscores will be replaced by hyphens. So here's our autoloader callback which follows these rules. Using this code, you can safely use a class anywhere in your code and have it automatically included if it's not already. To actually hook it up, you would call SPL autoload register with your callback, like this. There are other ways to accomplish autoloading, but this is the cleanest, most reliable, and most proven method. I hope you found this video useful. Thanks again to Justin for the inspiration. Check out his blog at the URL shown here for other articles related to web development.